Well, thanks, Elise. We've got some education news for you right now. Fewer than half of New York students are proficient in math and ELA. That's according to new testing data from the state education department. A bad report card in a sense, although educators say it's best to take this info with a grain of salt, considering the broad impacts of the pandemic. Math saw the largest drop compared to 2019, which is the last time state assessments were offered and taken by a wide number of students across New York. Grades 3 through 8. For the 2021-2022 school year, only 38.6% of students reached the proficiency level compared to 46.7% in 2019. Now, English language arts testing improved slightly from 2019, believe it or not, to 46.6% compared to 454 three years ago, although still below that 50% mark. While Western New York educators and parent leaders say they aren't surprised by these latest numbers, they say it's important not to forget the social emotional impacts of the pandemic that also play heavily into educating kids. You know, I think it's important that we recognize that while it's these numbers that get the headline, there's a story and a child behind every number that we have an obligation to understand. I can't be just about assessments. I mean, right now there are social emotional um, learning issues that are got to be part of this conversation. So I think we got to have the social emotional supports part of this conversation. But I do think we have to understand that assessments are an important part of that, you know, overall perspective of what's going on with a student. Well, in that overall perspective for Buffalo Public Schools, where Radford works with parents, he says is worrying because while there wasn't a big drop as he expected, the city continues to mark below other districts across the state with 15% of students proficient in math and 25% proficient in ELA. And coming up at 6 o'clock, Kate, I'll have more on this state testing data and a breakdown of what groups of students are feeling the impact the most. In the studio, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.